Your girl got baptized last night. Yes, we made that big step and we are walking with Christ in fullness. They can't see because my camera is all the way up here. Can you go? I'll be there in a second. No, give me the iced coffee. Yes, give me the iced coffee, please. for a hot minute I i'm not even joking i've been standing out there for a while <sighs> welcome to another weekly vlog today we are going to church if you are new here welcome to the channel i'm your girl shani please to subscribe if you have not subscribed as yet on this channel we do a little bit of everything we go to church so definitely faith we do a little bit of business entrepreneurship lifestyle mom life uh, um just a little bit of everything i would say my channel is not like centered around any specific thing please do not watch my chest i know my chest is really bad really really bad i don't know what's going on with my chest i am gonna be setting an appointment with my well not with my not with my because i don't have one with a dermatologist this week well i'm gonna try to see if i can get a, an appointment this week but this has been going on with my chest from december i thought it was getting better but then it spread when i came back when i came back from jamaica it spread a little bit more and right here was acting up no it's it's really kind of clearing up now but even though it's clearing up i see where it's still trying to break out a little bit more still so my chest is a terrible yes i know that so at this point i'm gonna see a dermatologist but subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed as yet please to interact in the comment section that's how i'm going to grow that's how youtube is gonna like push my videos out there so interact with me in the comment section and like the video today is gonna be a special day today's palm sunday by the way today is march 24th the day after my birthday Today is going to be a special day for me because your girl, your girl should be getting baptized today. Yes, we are doing this Christian life all over again. I mean, it never stopped, but when I first baptized, I was like 16. And I think it's only fair that I do this all over again because... I baptized then based on my understanding of what you know it should have been but now that I'm older I think I have a better understanding of my life with Christ and a better understanding of what I want for myself so because of that I am publicly once more accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior um, today is Palm Sunday, as I said, so we are wearing green at the church. We are wearing green because, you know, Palm Sunday, the whole spring vibe and the whole pastel color thing. That's what we're going for. So that's what's up. I'm going to try my best to like record everything throughout today. The whole me getting baptized and everything. I have to what i wanted to do right now was to record my podcast but the lord just said to me girl finish do your makeup do your get ready with me 
and just get out and go to church because it's already 10 something church starts at 11 i don't want to be extremely late for church because i want to be able to like get the fullness of church today i don't want to like get like the bare minimum i really want to get the fullness of church today also i purchased a new bible i know i always say i put in things in my amazon storefront but it doesn't even make no sense because i don't see where i'm earning from it like i'm supposed to be earning from amazon and they always giving me some sort of story as to why i'm not getting the money the only way i would, I would be doing this is just for you guys to like see what i'm buying and to like get what i'm buying now that i think of it is i think i should still put it in there so this is a king james version bible i have the niv which is the women's study bible and i'm trying to like read through both of them while i'm studying the bible like read the scripture in this and read it in that as well so these are the two bibles that i have i will be giving away two bibles on my podcast today definitely giving away two bibles today i was led to do that for my birthday and that's the birthday gift that i want to give away two bibles and for you guys to also purchase my hair growth serum which is right here let me see if you guys yes this is my ear growth serum this is the herbal infused one any form of air condition that you have this oil is good for it as you guys can see the herbs in the bottom of it this is 100 percent organic there is no additives no preservatives yes i made it myself and i have this one if you don't want all those herbs and stuff in it all of them are herbal infused it's just that i put herbs in some oh my god i threw everything out of my out of my makeup thing i just said i put herbs in some and some doesn't have any herbs in it so it's only $25. My website is www.shanibeauty with an E at the end. So beauty does not spell with a Y for my business name. It's spelled with an E at the end. So shanibeautyartistry.com. And currently I'm only shipping in the US because I need to figure out how to ship elsewhere. And I have not done so as yet. So when we get there, we get there. But for right now shipping inside of the u.s so if you have a u.s shipping address if you know someone that has a u.s shipping address and want to purchase one of my serums then you can do so it's for a dry scalp it soothes your scalp if you have itchy scalp it's also good for itchy scalp if you have alopecia from um postpartum and everything like that because i have that as well if you just want an overall healthy hair this oil is good for you and it is very lightweight i'm not gonna lie i stand by this product it's very lightweight of course as time goes by i may make certain changes to it but it's never gonna be a change where it's not a hundred percent organic it's always gonna be a hundred percent organic so that is that i'm trying to put on a little bit of um this brush is so stiff because I use it to um, put on the thing on my wig. So it's so stiff. But I'm still um, going to use it because I need to wash my brushes and I have not done so. I'm not trying to do nothing extra with the makeup to be honest. I'm just trying to like look sensible enough to go on the road. I'm really not trying to be extra. And I, I said I, I'm going to take off this week as soon as I come back from church because baptism is in the evening. And I don't want to be baptizing with this wig on my head because I don't want to deal with this wetness and all of that. So the aim is to take it off when I get back from church. As I was saying about the podcast, I was going to record the podcast right now. But God was saying, girl, just do your makeup. Just go to church and come back. Anything that you had planned after church, just leave it alone. Come back, record your listen. Literally, the voice was in my head. Just come back, do the podcast, and then you can go about the rest of your day after that. Because I need to be back at church for five o'clock this evening. And I need to stop by the old apartment to like pick up my meals and stuff. I wanna say old, I don't mean the apartment is old because I know some people are very not so intelligent and they take everything a different way than what i'm trying to say so just to make that clear because i know we, we, we have some not so intelligent people that are just ignorant and just take things however they want to take it and twist things however they want to twist it and i'm not about that life i don't want y'all to 
nobody to come in here and and try to put words in my mouth or try to interpret things the wrong way or how they see fit to interpret it but yes your girl is taking that step i have been wanting to rebaptize for a very long time i know some people don't believe in rebaptizing or whatever but i think i need to like i have been getting that urge like god has been saying girl take that step and i don't want nobody to tell me otherwise that oh god did not say that or god whatever let let me worry about my relationship with god and what god is telling me and what god is not telling me that's not for you to judge that's for god himself to you know so that is what we are doing today I am excited. I literally can't wait. And it's funny because every other time that there is a baptism that I wanted to get baptized, I feel like, I feel like, and it's funny, thinking about it, God knew what he was doing. Every time I wanted to get, to get baptized, my period would come. Like literally, every single time. And all this time I wanted to get baptized, I was still, you know, doing sexual stuff like probably not like directly doing it with a person but you guys if you know you know you, you get what i'm trying to say i was still doing that and for the month of february i gave up that thing and i'm not gonna lie that it's not bothering me like it's not i don't feel some type of way and it's not trying to creep up on me like a lot of times but at the same time, I have made up my mind to not do it. And I'm genuinely not even doing it anymore. I'm not doing it. So I feel like that was something that God needed to get me out of. It's not like I used to do it often, but I still used to do it. So I feel like God was saying, you know, there are certain areas I need, to, I need you to like tight up on before you go back down this road. Like fully go back down this road. I know you're there, you're you're on the road, but for you to go further, there are certain things that I needed to like tighten up on, you know. So before I take you back into this water, please just work on this. I know that I've worked on it, know that I'm truly not even doing that. I'm just completely resisting it, completely getting it out of my system, reading the word more. Like, finding it, I've always been excited about God, but this level of, of excitement now is at a different level. So I feel like God is saying, no, no, know that you are so all about me. You are genuinely all about me right now. And not that, not that you, you weren't genuine before, but now it's even deeper. Now you're actually listening to me, because trust me, I, I never used to listen to God. <laughs> there are certain things that God used to say that I was like, no, 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 I'm not doing that. But no, I do literally, I don't even care how I'm a look or how people are going to see me or how people are going to feel about me. Whatever God say, girl, do that or whatever. I'm doing it. Period. So I don't even worry about that no more. So I feel like now is really the time for me to just make that big step and for people to see that, listen, isn't it, it ain't no joke over here. It literally ain't no joke over here. Your girl is doing what your girl needs to do and that is on period. That is on serving God and that is on giving God my entire life. You know, I'm not even worried about going to Jamaica no more to say, oh my God, baby's there and what's going to happen. Like we have a conversation and I feel like he respects my decision. And I feel like, you know, he knows that your girl is not playing. So, you know, so <laughs> I'm really just excited for this new part of my life. I mean, it's always been in me. I've always been that girl to like be God fearing and everything. I feel like, you know, some people always say, always ask, like, how did you become a Christian? There was no point in time where anything happened significantly to say, okay, I'm a, I'm a Christian or I'm going to become a Christian. I feel like it was always within me. It is always in me. Like, there is no time when I say, okay, then I'm a Christian because of this. It's just always there. And. I'm chosen, like, period. All of us are chosen, but do you believe that you're chosen? I believe I'm chosen. So me saying this, I don't want y'all to think that, oh, whatever, whatever. I'm saying that because I believe I am chosen. But the question is, do you believe that you are chosen? So don't project when I say I am chosen. You know? So, yes, I'm going to finish getting ready, and I will see you guys 
when I'm dressed. I wanted to I want to dress up on camera, but I don't think I'll be dressing on camera. I'll just show you guys the outfit just because I'm also doing a get ready with me for church for TikTok. So I'll just show you guys the outfit. Now I'm gonna have to take the toll because it's almost 10:30. Dominic is all uh, is already ready and everything. Thank God. So it's just for me to now finish up this makeup. I'm not even gonna do much more. I'm just gonna like I'm not even I'm not doing lashes or anything like that. I'm just gonna put on some lipstick, some lip gloss rather, and that's it. Not doing anything extra. this is it put on some mascara i don't need to cover up my chest because the shirt i'm gonna wear is gonna cover my chest so i'm not gonna do no chest covering thank god my allergy is down oh my god it was stressing me out but no your girl good your girl not have an allergy problem again Thanks be to God, because that was a very rough time in my life. I ain't gonna lie. That was really rough. I got a line in my bottom. so church is over obviously <laughs> i am now gonna grab some gas it's i only have 36 miles of gas in the car so i'm gonna go get some gas um i'm gonna have to find the closest gas station there is let's see if i can find one Um, so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna record my podcast. Listen, when I tell you that this sermon today, God gave God. Listen, when I tell you that my God is gonna give a confirmation. Remember, I was telling the guys that I was baptized before, and I feel like you know, know that I need, know that I feel like I, God has prepared me, like took certain things away from me, certain, certain things I don't do no more. Certain like God was saying that. Um, you know you're still doing this you're still doing that let me prepare you first let me get you at a place where i know this time when you get into it i will not have to worry about you coming back out of it and today's lesson was talking about esther when when i don't I, honestly i don't understand the scripture of esther i don't know what was going on with esther but god was was basically preparing her she was going through six months of bathing in some something some bush or some something i'm gonna have to read that scripture because i don't i really don't know what happened in there but i'm gonna do that and when i tell you everything that the preacher was preaching i'm gonna put some clips i'm gonna have to go and screen record some clips from the live sermon so that you guys can understand where i'm coming from every single thing that she was talking about god is preparing you god is going to resurrect god um it's a resurrection season god is going to use you listen i am gonna have to screen record some of it so that you guys can list understand it because me not talking is just all over the place you guys are not, probably not understanding but i'm gonna screen record so when i'm editing this video so that you guys can listen and hear exactly what i am talking about listen i am so excited i'm definitely gonna go home and next week's podcast is gonna be about this literally about this god just gave me a word to share with you guys and next week podcast is gonna be about this same resurrection thing me getting baptized and everything like that i am so excited so excited i'm gonna 7-eleven guess not that bad listen 
gets so expensive, bro. Let me see 7 Eleven. We probably can go in this into 7 Eleven. 11 minutes? Oh no! I go drive go so and see if I'm in a gas station. I'm not looking for a gas station. I go drive go so and see if I'm in a gas station. Why not? Let me park here. I need to bring this car to get a, um, something there. Oh. Anyways, I am going to drive on. I'm going to drive that way and see if I find a, a gas station because me now drive 11 minutes to go find a gas station there's got to be a gas station closer I want to keep what why why the fire truck or something like come up here somebody drop down or something probably something, something happened like what happened the ambulance and stuff or I don't even know if it's ambulance or just a fire truck but they are coming up this side so let me wait to see what they are up to um i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna record today's podcast and i am going to post it thankfully today's video is already up three hours three hours of recording i can't believe it but it's already posted so i ain't gonna worry about that but today was good at church. I love today's sermon. This lady that preached, she was fiery. Like, you know, say, the son that says, No, you know it. I feel like the fire shut up in my bones. I feel like the fire shut up in my bones, right? <laughs> Listen, this lady, she was getting the word. She was putting the word in. Like, listen. Today was good. Today was a good service. I am happy. I'm so thankful that I was able to make it to today's service. Praise and worship was already done, but I got the word and I got all the confirmation that I needed. And we're going steadfast with this. We are get, getting back to the heart of Christ, like fully, period. I'm going to go home now. So I will catch you guys later when I'm coming back out for baptism. I will come back and um you know you guys will see i'm bringing my tripod and stuff so that you guys can see the entire process of me getting baptized and everything like that <laughs> i'm so excited okay. let me care so i'm weird now we can't tell the difference because we guess i really want to know like i literally can't tell the difference that girl you need gas but i'm gonna get go and get gas right now and then catch up with you guys later I did a good job with this wig. Can you believe it's not coming off? Look at that. I'm putting it back so hard. Oh my God. I am so proud of myself. Like, how am I do this? It's like I mess up my edges. I don't want to wear this. Please don't watch, watch my arm. Yes, my arm needs to shave. I bought the razors and I still have not gotten to it. But it's just that I'm not wearing software I show my arm. I am now. So that's why. Like the lighting looks so bad. Okay, can see me better now. Yeah, just that I'm not really wearing stuff to show my underarm. So I wasn't really worried about it. But now I am. So that's that. I'm currently getting ready for church. I recorded a podcast. And as usual, it's not loading in CapCut to edit to post. I'm so stressed out about this. But I'm going to use some alcohol. Dominic, what up a wall at the end of it? Dominic! Dominic! Look on this. What? What happened with this? You you scared me and, and I made... That's how you easily no. scared I was out there call, calling Dominic to come to me. I said you, you were scared. calling me. You, and, and so I, what happened when I was calling you? It, it, the water was on and I was trying to wash my hands. I got scared and I fell and it was getting wet. You're clumsy. That's what you are. Very clumsy. Mm -mm. Uh. Now go. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. I'm, I'm leaving out at five o'clock. I probably I can leave out at now. I have to be there one hour before baptism. Oh, so I have to be there for five. So that means I'm going to leave out from about four 
30 now we can leave five o'clock anytime um closer to four o'clock they're about i can leave out but it's the is the because it's soon four o'clock so it's just to get this podcast to edit so i can post it oh my god so i'm just taking off this wig taking off my makeup i feel like i'm gonna wear the same pants already this morning just find another top to wear i'm gonna bring a white wear a white top I have a white top or probably i wear black and white i'm gonna wear black and white i have another pants a palazzo pants i probably just wear that and wear a white top and bring a tight because they're gonna give shirts i'm gonna just bring a tight to put on in the water and bring an underwear and stuff to change so I forgot to bring I forgot bring my, 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 my handbag then listen I don't want my edges so mess up in a I do not want my edges to mess up but that's what's going on now I'll catch you guys later as soon as I'm done because I'm trying to edit the 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 podcast so i can post it i'm taking down this first layer and then i try and do the rest of it when i should have lost my mind you showed up night yes we made that big step and we are walking with christ in fullness they can't see because my camera is all the way up here can you go i'll be there in a second yes listen it was amazing i'm gonna share a clip with you guys i'm not gonna let you hear the entire thing because i feel like well i can't even say that's personal because when you guys when i came out of the water I was, sh I felt the Holy Ghost all over my body. I was shouting, I was praising, like, it was so magical, it was so refreshing, it was so good, I ain't gonna lie, it was so good. So today I am going on the road, I'm wearing my hair like this for a while, y'all, I'm not doing anything to it, I'm just wash it, twist it, and go, yes, Dominic? They'll see you soon. When I get in, you want to show you guys these glasses. When I get in the car, they'll see you. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing my hair like this for a while. All I'm doing is using my hair growth serum, and it's not even focusing. Come on, focus now. This is not the right label. This is the old one I did before, but y'all get what I mean. And it has some herbs in it. This is currently almost done. So I'm really just using out the rest of it and I'm going to start on a new one. So this is all I'm going to do my, with my hair for a while. Well, I'm going to Jamaica next week, so I'm going to have to do something with it then. But for now, this is what we're doing. I don't even know what I'm doing to my hair to go to Jamaica. And I need to decide because anything I'm doing, if I'm going to put in, put on a wig or whatever, I need to order it now. I need to figure out what I'm going to do for my hair for Jamaica. Um, but yeah, 
last night was a magical and i'm not even lying if you guys see the video bro last night was good last night was so good this is the top i was trying to wear for church yesterday and it didn't work out i just put on a little nude top underneath it and i'm wearing it on the road today i look so nice i look like ah, i'm gonna do you think i just like i'm going to church or i look nice or whatever you say you look nice but you look like you go to church and i'm like okay how are you mommy dominic go i'm almost done i don't want to talk to you right now hey, you? you just want to be in the video i am okay i love you so much i'm fine thank you so much Okay, I'm going to do my skincare. This is all I'm doing. I'm going to sweep in my edges a little bit. But let me do my skincare quickly. I'm using the Daily um, Brightening Serum from Good, Good Molecules. It's almost done. I should be... Today, I have a lot of stuff doing. I'll probably end up going into Ulta because I need to get my birthday gift. and I have some money on my account. I'm going to buy some stuff to bring to Jamaica for Carnival Makeup. So I may get another good molecules because this is running out. This is almost done. So today I am really late. Did I say I'm late? we're late? We're really late. It's almost it's after nine. I'm gonna say almost, but it's literally after nine o'clock. The morning should be at school eight forty-five or later. So we are definitely running late. I'm gonna use this hyaluronic acid from Matcas. I said I was gonna put nothing in my storefront anymore because it's not even I'm not even earning from it. They're just tripping right now. But when I thought about it, I'm like, I could put it in there still because at least I'm putting you guys on. This is my wig, y'all. I took it off yesterday because I know I was gonna get dipped in the water. I don't want to dip with a wig on my head, so I took it off. All right. This is already looking so good. I got this eye cream in um let's see, I got this eye cream, it's a L'Oreal eye cream in Marshall's the other day. It's a little minty, but under my eyes are so dark from the allergies. So I um definitely applying this under my eyes and over my eyes. To see if I can get back that or get a little radiant look because my eyes are looking crazy. Guys, don't forget the hair growth serum is available on my website www.shani beauty and beauty spells b e a u t e artistry.com. This is the moisturizer I'm using as well, it's from L'Oreal. Because my moisturizer is done. I had was to get a new one. Okay, on today's agenda, I'm going into DMV. I need to get a new driver's license because I can't find mine. And then it's time to get to update mine either ways to get a new address on it. So I have to go into DMV to do that. And what was I going to say? And um, I have two packages to drop off. I haven't printed the labels as yet because I signed up for a, what you call it? One of those mailing address, PO box. I signed up for one of them, but I need to verify my address and stuff, get notarized before I start using it. And I already put it on my website. So I want to like get the driver's license and stuff start it out before i ship these packages off and i need to go to drop off i need to get a letter from this hope center because i work for myself currently i do not provide myself space lips so for the doctor that i take dominic i don't have any pay stubs so they told me to get this charity letter to say i'm not working because if not, I'm going to have this big doctor bill for Dominic for his um, dental appointment the other day. And we don't want a big doctor bill, do we now? So I'm going to try and get that today. And I'm going to stop by the office to drop it off. 
I'll get to see my friend. I'll get to see my friend today, my ex co worker. Listen, and tell her to listen. I get to see my friend today. I'm gonna see her today. Period. I'm gonna see her today. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. Oh, I'm gonna go to the beauty supply store to buy some bundles because I have a client tomorrow. And I need to stop by the apartment. I didn't get to do that yesterday to grab any meals I have there. And then that's it. So we're gonna go right now because we are late. Put some lip gloss on. I love the way my face it. Look at him. Guys, I can't even show you my room. My room is a mess. I say a mess? Yeah. Crazy mess. Look at my room. And that's from yesterday trying to find a black bra. What about me? So this is Dominic. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to find a black bra yesterday and I could not find it. So, I made stir up the whole place trying to find that bra. Okay. Mm -hmm. hmm? If who watches it? A man? What's going to happen if a man watch this? He's going to look, look at your mom and whatever. That's what you're talking about? What do you mean? Look at I don't know. I just I'm trying to understand. What if you say, "What if a man watch this? What do you mean? I don't get it. Why you ask that?" Mm -hmm. Look at me like Dominic, not Liet. So this is my face looking so good. I'm gonna show you my outfit. Sorry about the the um that in the background, but because like the, the light I'm talking, but because I have to have the flash on to that use the back camera. That is why I'm looking like that. I'm going to change this slippers and put on my bridget. So this is how I'm looking. Because. I have no idea how I didn't even think that to change my driver's license. I have to go to Orange County because I live in Orange County. And I was thinking of going to the one closest to me, which is all the way in Seminole. What is this? Seminole? Seminole County. But this is closer to my to my house. I was thinking that, you know... Probably I need to go to one closest to my house, but I should have I, sh I should have knew that. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go over to that one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to that one, and then I can just do everything over that side. Like go to get the hair, go to pick up any meals I have, go over to the place that, that I want to get the um the letter, and just do everything. Try and do everything before three o'clock. I'm I don't think I'm gonna send Dominic to the daycare this week because I really I only have two clients this week and one is at ten o'clock and one is at eight o'clock. But I can just push her to eight thirty and just whatever because I don't. So I don't feel like I need to um pay like a whole week this week when I really and truly. I don't think I'm gonna have to drop him there in it at any given time or oh crap hold on but I think I, I can always pick him up Wednesday I don't have to do I have to leave my client to go pick him up I don't think so because school ends at three o'clock we can't pick him up man 2 45 never did it for 2 45 8 30 9 Uh, or what I can do is pick him up late. I can pick him up at about 3 30. I'm gonna figure it out. But I'm gonna go over to Orange County and then I will keep you guys updated as to what's going on today because bro I wonder how long drive, about 30 minutes drive, I think. I think about 30 minutes ago. I'm gonna just waste 20 minutes gonna say that 20 minutes. I'ma go. Oh my god. Thank God we are done. I have a new driver's license and my new address. Oh my god. That was so quick and easy. The only thing though, they told me what it would have been free. Here I am paying $31 to get this thing. I'm like, mm, never planned for this. So. I had no idea I would have been taking a new picture for this thing. And my hair is looking crazy. Like, it's nice. 
but it's looking crazy let's be honest this is how i'm looking so crazy oh my god look at that what is that that's not even me y'all tricked me that is not even me all right i'm gonna go ahead now and sign up the documents for my before i drive off i'm gonna sign up the document for for my um mailbox so when i go to drop the stuff off later it will be easy or i wouldn't have any problem so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna go to get the letter from the hope center and then i'm gonna go and buy some flowers because i'm gonna stop and see my friend and i'm gonna bring her some flowers i'm gonna surprise her bring her some flowers and stuff and uh, um after i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna stop at the apartment grab any meals i have there then i'm gonna um go to the beauty supply store grab the hair what i also need to do i have some meals here for over there i'm not gonna give them the ones that have my address on it because i don't want that i'm gonna like just i'm not giving them those i don't want anybody having, having my address and i'm gonna also when i'm going by the mail the post office to drop off the mails i'm gonna let i'm gonna tell them that hey these people are not living where i'm living it's just me that move but because we have the same last name johnson then that is why they probably think that okay my brother moved as well but i'm gonna let them know that that didn't happen so they need to stop sending his mails to my house and whatever the case is so we're getting things done today we're getting things done i want to go live later to do my makeup for jamaica carnival i'm gonna try and do live every day this week i don't know if that's gonna work but i'm gonna try and go live every day this week and i'm gonna try and package some order with you guys today as well and all of that good stuff so i will catch you guys in a little bit because i'm gonna need my hotspot from there to work on some things right now so i'll see you guys in a later Later. so we did get her an orchid i don't know much about orchids but i think it's a good plant based on people that have seen like posted orchids and stuff so i think it's something nice and, and this person let me wipe the phone screen off this person has been there for me like when i was working there I used to be able to talk to her about anything. Like there were many times I was, I was there at lunch and she like, Shadi, have you had lunch already? And I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna just grab this or I took this or whatever. And she was like, oh no, lunch is on me. I'll get you some lunch or whatever. And mind you, this person is not even, you know, we say wealthy people or rich or whatever. She's not, even if, it, if it's $20 or $10 or whatever, she literally say, take this get yourself some lunch because she knew that i was not at a good place you know so i like i don't call her often we don't talk often but i told oh, let me keep this on i told her that one day i'm a pop-up by her workplace like i normally because I, I just left there i i didn't really want to go back there <laughs> but now i'm okay with going back i i don't care bro i'm okay with going back starbucks is right across the road i'm gonna stop at starbucks and get me something to drink because i haven't had anything to eat from morning so i'm just gonna go over to starbucks and get oh i took it out because i'm like where is it and get something can you believe my nail is coming off like it bent last night when i was putting on my clothes and it's literally lifting up i'm wondering if i should refill them for jamaica or just you know just get some glue put it back down and just wear it but it's kind of bugging me because if it bends or whatever it, it stresses me out so i don't know let's see but i'm gonna go right over to starbucks now and grab me an iced coffee and then later i'll probably go home and cook or stop a chick-fil-a no i think i'm gonna go home and make some pasta i don't think i'm gonna buy anything to eat today i'm gonna just grab starbucks Head on, make pasta, go live, and whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna put it down because I don't want it to fall and make a mess. So, okay, that should be good. Hello, okay, thank you. 
thank you. That's it. Thank you. Oh, I'm so far. I'm saying I'm so far away. Hello. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Alright guys, I'm grabbing the Starbucks and then I'm just gonna let me put in the address. I'm gonna go buy the workplace. It says I can just give her the form too. I don't have to go over there. I can just give her the form because it's the same company or probably have to go over to dental. I don't know. Um I don't know. Let's seven minutes away. But yeah. I've gotten pretty much well, I just have two things left to do. I'm gonna leave here. What time is it? Okay. I should be back by to the morning school by 2 30. So I'm just gonna leave now i must spend like 10 minutes 50 10 minutes because she's still at work so she's not gonna be able to like talk or whatever because she's still working unless she's on, on lunch i don't know but i'm gonna just uh... thank you oh i love your name is the... is it hot we have oh. it as hot do you want it cold yes so cold I gotcha. thank you oh my god why am i doing hot coffee at this time of the day um yeah i'm gonna say about 10 minutes or less and just drop off the form and then on my way back i'm gonna stop at the apartment then go by the beauty supply store and then go back home i think that's it that i have to do over here what i need to do though is to find a car wash because i need to wash the car i still have not found a car wash to wash the car and the car needs to wash like right now literally needs to wash so when I go back over, I'm just going to probably try and see if I can find one. Tomorrow my appointment is 10 o'clock because she has, a, a, I think she has a doctor appointment in the morning. Oh crap, no, 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 no. I have to pay for this week. You know why? Tomorrow I have a client at 10 o'clock. So... 11 12 1 2 3 i'll not be done by three o'clock to get dominic what i'm gonna do i probably just pay for the evening i take him to school and pay for the evening because i'm not trying to pay the entire fee this week for real for real for real because i'm trying to cut back on wherever i can cut back on i'm gonna just pay for the evening so i'm just letting them thank you appreciate it uh sure thank you thank you you're welcome. You too. Thank you. All right. I haven't had a Starbucks in a while because Starbucks be so pricey. Oh my god. So fresh, bro. It's nice. It's nice, bud. Starbucks, we don't know. I was never a coffee person, and no, give me oh, come on. no, give me the iced coffee. Yes, give me the iced coffee, please. Mm. I love it. Ah. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go now. A prayer for someone like. And uh, calling this phone up. My mom to love me for life. Yo, she just had lunch and she's going in. <laughs> Close 
mama surprise you and it's the right thing because it's just going in oh my god don't make me cry don't cry <laughs> let me tell y'all that my cup is so full take it from me that my cup is so full i am trying my best to be civilized in the situation you know me moving out and everything i said i was gonna like come and say anything else about it it's not like nothing has been happening or whatever or any little whatever but whatever it is i genuinely don't, don't even care but when i tell you my cup is so full y'all wouldn't even i told you guys that i'm gonna come to stop to see if there's any mail i'm supposed to get an important letter for dominic right that letter gonna come to that house <laughs> because on his documents for here in the country that's where his mail is gonna come unless I change it. I cannot change it now because I am locked out of the account because I forgot the password and them type of something that don't know the technical. You can just reset it right there. So I have to go through all, all type of stuff. And I got there and I have been knocking on that door. Both cars are there because I know both of them still is there. And I've been knocking on the door. I've been standing there and nobody is answering the door i specifically went there at a certain time because i know my brother is going to go to work and i know he leaves at a specific time so i said let me go there because i know she ain't go open the door or whatever and to see that my even my brother is not even opening the door i had to call somebody to call him because i've been standing out there for a hot minute i'm not even joking i've been standing out there for a while and i've been knocking and knocking i've been calling his phone he hasn't been answering she said that she was sleeping fine but my brother is there he heard the door knocking i'm not even go go be no type of way or say nothing him hear the door and knock and i've been standing there what is hard to i, I even had a mail from because i told you guys that these mails are coming to my apartment because of the same last name so they thought that probably he moved too because of i told him my family so you know same last name they probably think that he moved as well and i've been standing there and nobody's answering it's frustrating because you're trying to like get past certain things leave certain things behind you move on be peaceful whatever This guy and I have nothing, literally. We have nothing. I messaged him last week. I asked, is there any mails there for me? He did not respond. And I was there and I was calling his phone and he was not answering his phone. I called twice. And he can't say he was sleeping or whatever because it's, it's time to go to work now. I didn't call the school. I didn't call the daycare to not pick up that money because I'm gonna have to leave. He's gonna have to get picked up tomorrow. So I'm just gonna have to pay for the evening and just let him stay. Let him just get picked up in the evening. But I'm at the beauty supply store. I'm gonna grab a bit, grab a pack up here and then be on my way over. I'm gonna tell you guys that my cup is so full with these people like Outside of me having to like the mails or whatever, 
I'm fine. I don't think about them. I don't worry about them. I am completely fine. But when I have to put in a, when I'm at a place where I have to like go there for for any given reason, it bothers me. I don't want to have to. I just don't. I just don't. And good morning, my loves. Today is Tuesday. And I just want to open up today's um, recording of the vlog. It's after 9 and it's 12 minutes after 9 and I'm just heading to my client. Well, technically, I'm going to drop off my first two orders for the serum. Um... yeah so this person ordered first so you can see the package is a little bit more weighty so they got two so i'm going to drop them off quickly um my client and i we were kind of um, with the time because so she has an appointment and i should be there for 10 o'clock and then she was like oh no let's do 9 30 and then she's saying oh I'm gonna be closer to nine but i'm like listen i cannot work with these time time different different times because I'm gonna be trying to do other things, you know, in the meantime. Now, when I can, I again, go. Well, I didn't get a plate. I got up and I was listening to a sermon. I fell asleep in it and then I read my Bible a little bit. Even though my mind was so tired reading the Bible, but I read my Bible a little bit and then by the time I was done, it was 8 o'clock. I hate this tripod so much. Can somebody please recommend? So, you see, you know, you know, if not hold on like this, or want it for hold long. This is how I wanted to hold on to all um something. Talk about that. I'm looking at me ago. But yeah. I start, I got up at eight, started getting ready at eight, and then it was the school the um start eight forty five. Oops, passed in the post office. Eight forty five. So of course we're late. It's like why not? We get our next one in I don't remember, no? But yeah, dropped off the monocle. And I could have gone got to my client for 9.30. But I'm like, mm -mm, I drop off the package. I am dropping off the packages. So, when I reach her till about 9:40, she said she just um, she up on her way to go back home now. This is one of my regular clients, and she booked the same style all the time, all the time. And this is when I'm having an issue with with, with a client the other day. I'm like, this is something I do so often, like literally, I do this style so often, and I'm about to start posting to say. Book the, book the size that you want not the cheapest um option expecting to get something else book the size that you want again the short bubble thing it only comes in one bundle of human here that one bundle is it's at a hundred gram bundle it's a small bundles that sell in other packs one bundle legged with that one if you want it to be more full and whatever you gotta add the extra curls if you want a human ear at the ends you have to add the human ear at the ends you, you know you have options you have a lot of options and this girl when she's booking this girl i'm doing now she book what she wants she pay for the human ear ends she pay for her extra curls and you feel me so when i do hers it's gonna look more full and whatever because she's paying for these extra stuff when you book just a regular one it's just the little human that, that you get. You can't kill me for that. And, and oh my god. But anyways, I'm gonna do this client, and then I'm gonna come back. I wanna go live so bad, but I'm so tired. I'm gonna try and see. If I, I I don't well. I don't have any clients tomorrow, so I probably can just go live today. And then, or go live tomorrow. And the day I'm the day I don't know, I'm just go live tomorrow. That would have made more sense to be honest to just go live tomorrow. And the day I go live on each more platforms to just take today and clean up the house and just try and relax a little this evening. You know, that's what I took a before and after. I did my before and after results with my ear. People, my edges are growing back. 
I remember from last year after I had Kai. Like we opened last year, me show them my edges, say my edges them look so bad, and I've never had edge problem. I've never had an issue with not having any edges or whatever. I made I show them say my edge gone, my edge tear out, and I took that before. I showed them. I took that before and after. I took, I took that before just to see if this oil really are gonna work. And when I started using the oil, it wasn't even the one that was with all the ingredients. It was literally, I am literally passing this post office again. It was the one with the, um, with just a sample I used. Just a sample of some of the stuff them is what I used. And the results, I was like, am I tripping? Like, you see this? Am I, am I seeing this? Is this real? This real? <laughs> I'm so excited. Y'all need to grab this oil. High blank. Period. Nothing that joke. When you need to grab the idea. When you need to grab this oil. It's only $25. Grab the oil. Grab the oil. Okay. Oh my God. What did I do? The key script, me, 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 the car glass. <sighs> oh crap. This are the worst tripod me ever buy. The worst. The worst car mount, whatever I want them. So annoying. But, anyways. Dropped off the packages. I did the form with the address something. Cause so my brother no, no move with me. It's just me. So they're gonna fix that. So now I am going to the client. My Continue ETA, on Florida 436 West for five miles. My ETA is 9:45. This is so tip news. Too much oats this morning. I'm not like gonna take you know. So, I hate when it is thick. But anyways, y'all, I'm not going to my client. I don't know what is going. I'm telling some me just extremely tired. And I, I, I don't know if I need to like go to the doctor. Or what? Last night, anxiety would have killed me. I don't know what's going on with me, y'all. And me, I can't be, me, I can't be for saving me. I like talk, 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 whatever it was down. But just, just we talk to him, say I could have fall asleep. But in me call him, I'm asleep, and then after me, I call him back again, and I get him back. I'm literally, after lay down there, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. At first, we got through anxiety like this. No, no, the first thing. But last night was bad. It's not the first. I don't know what's causing it. I don't know. But it was stressful, really, really stressful. I was having a hard time last night. I don't know what caused this anxiety for me. I really don't know. But I prayed, literally prayed to my fall asleep. I don't know what's going on. But oh, you know, money for though. We need to add this something from Fashion Nova, cause. They man are supposed to be going on this date. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna add this something more wear it. And and if I add one wig tonight too, can I put I gotta do one look bob wig. That's the only thing that makes it make sense right now because none else that me I think go. This is how I want this tripod to be and it's not like this. Not on the mice face this morning. Oh my god. Nothing that else i have planned for my hair now i'm gonna work but let's buy one little bob wig buy one 12 inch and cut it like do a sharp yeah them bob they were cut sharp that's how i want that more i do i mean i inside myself because we are going we always so i get in a my in, in a wig installation thing and start doing some pay collabs or something i mean i do it you know nothing more about with them we are doing it. listen the wig where they 
Never did I move. I'ma say, your yeah, girl, you find it. <laughs> you find it. So I can install my wig myself for my content and everything because I get to know this wig thing yeah, once and for all. But anyways, enough talking. Let's go. We're gonna do some praise and worship and just go and chill upon the journey. We have 16 minutes left to go. I'm gonna use my 16 minutes and do some praise and worship again. Yes. Yes. Again. I love it. When I ask, I tell you, it just makes me feel so uplifted and just feel so nice and all them stuff like But I'm catching you guys later. Don't forget to comment, uh, like the, the video. I don't say this enough these days, but stay goal oriented. Keep your eyes on the prize. Do what you gotta do. Don't watch the naysayers. Don't watch the crowd. Don't watch what everybody else said. Don't focus on what you are doing. Give yourself grace. Give yourself time. Celebrate yourself. Live good with people. Live good with people. And pick up God all the time. Because without Him, we are nothing. Literally nothing. I'm going to start looking for apartments around the area. So we may look for apartment for next year. Later. Hey babies, happy hump day. Can we all hear the siren was I'm gonna hear it. Um I've been parked up here for like almost an hour now. Dropped out Dominica school and just here parked up. Um Again, this I probably want something I'm going to talk about on, on, on the um, on the on the the vlog, but I am just not feeling so motivated about going to Jamaica Carnival anymore, and that is because of the team that I'm going with. We are not seen eye to eye. We are from the get-go. We just not, it's just not working out. We added this new person for Jamaica because she reached out saying, you know, she wanted to come with us or whatever. And from, she came into the group, it's like, she already started judging that I am not gonna like her. She don't know if I'm gonna like her or whatever. And I'm like, how can you say that? You already judge me from the get go. You don't know me. Whatever you already judge at, probably I'm not gonna like you or whatever. Fine. That happened. Fine. Um, we started to have communication issues in regards to. Airbnb is supposed to book or whatever. Where they trying to find Airbnbs and she was more like I say, just choose whatever. Whatever we choose, she'll work with it. Right? That's not even something that's that's one of the first problems. That's not even something that you say you work with that team. We are all supposed to can be able to say, Alright, let's make this decision. Let's all make this decision together or whatever. You understand? And then things started like going sideways because everybody then became so busy. Everybody had things to do or whatever that our communication was just okay. You know, anyway, our communication just got so bad, you know, because everybody was just so busy paying attention doing what they were doing. So now that our communication is so bad, when I became, I was, I was honestly so busy, I ain't gonna lie, I was so busy, and then because I was so busy, 
sometime when they were communicating i honestly wasn't even available when they were communicating most of the time which i take full accountability for that i wasn't available and then i was going through my allergy issues that i did not tell them like way after about two weeks after them no seven not only with them the, the, my friend that i'm closer to it's like two weeks after she she knew i was going through allergy problem man you don't know the allergy problem with that i'm saying it i don't know it was, i don't know like lightly i was going through bad allergy issues and the, the allergy issues kind of you know i didn't want to i was working dealing with the allergies and everything i was just not present in the group as i should have been you know my arm if you shake up away them something my arm will show up but yeah oh my dip i'm gonna shave and stuff today because i do a deep cleaning today now i'm gonna record that because we can't do it i'm gonna just brush it and clean um so yeah the communication was just off and then they become an issue and there was a little back and forth argument and you know from the argument nobody communicated in the group i am closer to my friends so whatever concerts i have or anything i would i will like you know reach out to her and then it's the same thing with this person she knows my friend so any communication so there is there is literally communication with each not even each other without one friend but no communication in the group what happened now that's get that that, that that got me so worked up was my friend normally like do jerseys for the team and everything Guana and my friend doesn't have any jersey that can fit me so my friend said to her and i didn't even know that this was a secret i thought anything and i said so the funny thing about it this is supposed to be group conversations and because she's relaying this, this information to my friend and then my friend is relaying this information to me it now look like say it's a big problem you understand so my friend said to her to, to Made, um, get the jersey for me and but no, my friend said in the group that she was going to get a jersey so she the, the other girl she sent her money and she said that the other girl said she can get it cheaper so she didn't want my friend to do it for her so my friend said to her just get one for Shani then as well seeing that you're going to get the best because all I have is medium she said she don't think Shani going to like them shirt the kind of quality whatever I'm like hmm, okay okay so it was on to she said that she's not doing it she's not gonna get the shirt for him here for whatever reason so my friend told me that i'm like oh wow wow what kind of team is this at this point y'all what kind of team is this i said wow like okay obviously there's an issue with me i've never met this person i don't know her we, we obviously there's, there's an issue there because why wouldn't you want to do a jersey for me if we're doing something as a team and you also ask me if i could make your airbnb payment for you until you get to jamaica are you following up with what i'm trying to say here because if you're going to ask for me to do a favor for you and you find it hard to do a favor for me what does that make me feel i don't mean, feel good about that <laughs> so I told my friend, I, I told my friend in the, in the text, I said, I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm going to tell her to make her payment. But obviously she said she thought I, I was joking or whatever. I was not joking. I was serious. I'm not doing it for her. You can't do a simple, a simple favor as getting a shirt for me. Why would I use my money to pay for an Airbnb for you until you come to Jamaica? I'm not doing it. So I messaged in the group and I said it. I know my, my friend was upset last night. I said, I'm, I'm setting her up or whatever. I'm like, was it supposed to be a secret? Is this should not even this should be something that we were even communicating in the group with but we're now communicating in the group and then you should be able to communicate whatever the damn issue she's having or whatever concerns with me as well without feeling like it's a problem i i, I can't do this now i can't do this i'm in agala and i'm thinking when we go to jamaica baba it's going to be a big communication problem we're going to go communicate properly and we're going to talk to each other the plan was to jamaica two of them would have share one room because my boyfriend never did it well would have one room or whatever and now i am thinking you know one problem will come to say all right then 
me I go in a one room and them up and she appear on monitor because at this point I do not know what to expect from her. You understand? So I may at some time text to clear up to make sure before my book paid with the eight hundred dollars today you know, to make sure are you guys okay with sharing the room or whatever the case is because I really actually don't want a problem. I don't want a problem. And no, I I if you don't even know but on a good note that Kai is coming back it was a last minute decision yesterday Kai I'm, I'm bringing up Kai next week Kai is coming back I am now heading to the daycare to find out how much it is to keep him for when I have to work my problem now is Instagram is not allowing me to um to send out any what you call it to run any ads and if i can't run the ads oh my god make money no me can't tell more than because they're like what we need to run ads to make money me not run the ads oh my god get clients i mean not even know but i got a daycare now for the final how much a week for keep him so that we can add him to my return ticket for coming back or whatever it's um you know it's it this month April it's not April yet but April like about one year now since Sky to Jamaica and you know your grandma asked me yesterday when when did my girl I don't remember but I don't already question wrong and then when she asked that like I was taking her back I was like I'm gonna take my car now I take back I know because a one year now and the plan was for me to get an apartment and then I take it back. I have an apartment now, so whatever other struggles I could do there with 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 I'm taking it back. It's my child, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna have to deal with it, you understand? So I'm bringing him up to him for the start with him. Stuff them, get him documents them him out. Work on me. Well, I just dropped off Dominic at school. Dominic is literally late every single day this week. I put back my client to 9 o'clock and here I am, minutes to 9. Here I am, minutes to 9. Just going back to the house. I'm going to eat nothing for a morning. And oh my god. Still running a little bit behind, bro. I have some trash at the door. I'm gonna up last night because last night I cleaned. It's raining. I'm gonna make a picture of the trash them last night. So I have them the photo of and throw out. <sighs> Y'all, yeah. I didn't come back and record yesterday because. Yesterday it didn't go as planned. You remember how happy I was to say, okay, Kai is gonna come and the daycare is right there, and you know, whatever. <laughs> now, daycare is not taking any kids because they don't have enough kids to take nobody. And not, also, and not only that, not only that, um, the fee, because I was thinking, all right, if it's not that expensive to to keep Dominic then it's not gonna be that expensive to keep Kai huh. so I thought I literally had a meltdown yesterday I could not record I was in a bad space like emotionally I was stressed out mentally I was stressed out like I just could not because I'm like I was so happy I was saying like it's time no is the time and I was starting to feel all positive about it and everything. I know, you know, it just not gonna work. Like I had a talk with his dad and we kind of like came up with a plan. I was telling him that I think he should like take Kai, let Kai stay with him. So at least if he has Kai, I don't have to like worry about certain things and you know, but we're trying to work something out we're trying to work something out and i'm praying i couldn't listen 
I couldn't even take off my baby yesterday. I know God was saying, girl, just read the Bible. Just I, I was listening to gospel music and whatever. But the part of me that wanted to read my Bible, just get into the Word, I could not. And I'm not going to come in here and pretend like everything that goes wrong in my life. And I'm a perfect Christian and everything goes wrong in my life. I'm just going to jump and take up the Bible. I, I should. Like God been telling me to pick up the Bible. You just read your Bible, just whatever. But I, I went to sleep and then there's this issue with the girl for Jamaica Carnival. She's, she's, I, listen, I don't know, but she's something. She is something that's that that's not a good something, you know. She was supposed to send me. She I remember to tell you guys that she was supposed she was supposed to I'm stuttering. She was supposed to do the jersey for me and she said that she's not doing it. And then I was supposed to pay the money for the Airbnb for her to she come to Jamaica. And I said, you know what, I am not doing it because if you can't do me a favor, I'm not doing you no favor either. Period. And I told her I send the money yesterday. She went. She went to the MoneyGram to send the money and blah blah blah. She don't. She not spending so much money to send no money and blah blah blah. I'm like, okay, all right. If that's how you feel, then fine. No, she's saying that she's trying to plan for her boyfriend, whoever, to come to Jamaica with her, and may as well she book another Airbnb somewhere else because either way, I'm gonna be in a room by myself and they're gonna have to share a room. These were conversations we had prior to. We said, what, um, let's look for an Airbnb or whatever. She was like, choose whatever, it doesn't matter. We weren't able to find any three bedrooms. And I made it clear, my partner's in Jamaica. Ain't no way I'm gonna be in Jamaica and he's not there with me, you understand? So what are we gonna do? She was like, I don't mind if I have to share a room. I don't mind if I even have to sleep on the couch two nights or whatever. I don't mind just what whatever you guys choose, we'll work with it and whatever. No, or she's bringing up that oh i'm gonna be in a room by myself and that's what she paid all that money to to just rent somewhere else by herself i say first of all i am gonna because baby's gonna go to work i'm gonna be the one after after drive you know no job on jamaica i'm gonna be have to, have to be the one to drive go to airport go pick them up and me not drive got no olaba but can nobody got no olaba so anyway she take it she have to go figure out that by herself because not me <laughs> not me not me and she's not having these conversations in the group i don't know what is it about me with this girl i don't know i i don't know this girl from adams men and war she don't know me <sighs> I don't know. but all that i was dealing with yesterday i was like mm, my cup is full <laughs> my cup is full <laughs> my cup is full you know and i was like oh my god like i just couldn't get into my word yesterday i, I listened to gospel music i try to get out of this element i was in and i could not it was in the night that i get up and when the money came home kind of like a strength when the money come now you know and then there's something else you know I mean, that part no this i mean we never dropped that part here tonight it's, just, it's not even track it's a part of my life too but I'm not going to put, I'm not going to involve the party. And that is because, you know, just after the person, other people are going to get, you know, probably name going to call or whatever. I'm going to want that. Get my child involved, man. You know, I'm going to want that. But any day I feel like I feel petty or I feel like I talk about it, then I'm going to tell you no. But not right now. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah. Jamaica. Huh. Let's see if it 
straight. Yes, I did. I'm going to relax my hair because as much as I my love all it healthy and stuff, them, them, them new growth here, I'm going to see how my edges grow back. I'm going to see how my edges grow back. I'm going to see how my hair oil is working. I'm going to see my edges I come back. Don't play with me. Don't sleep on my ear growth serum. I need to grab one. I had the best breakfast this morning yesterday after I got finished with the client I just you know I um, cooked some food I boiled some dumplings with some tin mackerel because Dominic wanted dumpling all, um, from the other day and I didn't get to make it for him. So yesterday I said, you know what, let me just make this dumpling for him with something mackerel. Of course he enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. Because <laughs> I, let, let, let me tell you guys something. I can't make dumplings no more. From I started braiding, I cannot make dumplings anymore. My fingers just don't have the strength to like make the flour anymore. And that's so bad. This finger is, is hurting me again. I'm gonna have to put it in some Epsom salt. But yeah, it's that bad. I can't make dumplings no more. But the, they weren't that ugly, but they were ugly, if you know what I mean. I had to like roll them in a ball, press them up, put them in the pot. That's all I, that's all I can do, I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, this morning I got up and I kind of just, um, how would I put it? I kind of just, oh, forget that. Stop talking about the dumplings making. But yeah, this morning I got up and I fried those dumplings, warm up the mackerel, and that was breakfast. That was breakfast. Black, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I need to go there. That was breakfast. I mean, the wrong lane if I ever go around this one. Let me go by this one. Yeah, that was breakfast, pretty much. Um, Of course, Dominic is late again. Dominic has been late every single day. And that is because we get up at 8 o'clock. Well, not me. Dominic will get up at 8 o'clock. I'm the parent. I'm supposed to make sure that that doesn't happen. But at the same time, you know, it's whatever. You can get up six o'clock. You can get up eight o'clock. And that's that. It was just a couple minutes late, but whatever. Um, remember I was venting to you guys yesterday about this girl that we had to our carnival team and what was happening and stuff like that. We had an issue right she was complaining that i don't communicate well and all of that stuff and she was the issue was based off we looked we had an airbnb we i found an airbnb right when we were looking at airbnb it was on the table we said can you um let's get the airbnb out of the way let's agree on somewhere we weren't able to like find much three bedrooms that had ice tools like we wanted so it was more two bedrooms so she was saying it doesn't matter where she sleeps once we find somewhere she's fine with it it was on the table that my partner is in jamaica and of course if i'm in jamaica my partner is going to want to be around me ain't no way that's not going to happen so they were saying that you know two of them could share a room or whatever we found the Airbnb. It was two, say eight hundred US dollars, because there was a security deposit for if any damage. So it's six hundred US dollars. So we're basically paying two hundred dollars each, but the extra two hundred for the security deposit would have made it look like we're paying more, which we're not, you know. So i had agreed for her to as i told you guys i had, I had agreed to pay it for her because she was saying when she, when she come to jamaica she had to pay by the us the us and i said fine whatever issues she was having 
she said that I am too ace or whatever because I was saying let's do a live together and she was against doing live this girl was just the devil all the way around she was against us going live finding every reason not to go live so, I'm, so she came started looking for her, another Airbnb and that's where I got mad because I'm saying we already found that Airbnb why are you still looking for another Airbnb apparently she was looking for somewhere cheaper everything that has to do with money I realized she has a problem with spending and I'm like from the get-go when my friend told her that she told us that she wanted told me that she wanted to join I said let's have a meeting because there are certain things I am very blunt there are certain things that I have to put out there because I don't want no problem with nobody so as the first thing I said to her remember this is a risk we're gonna spend money and when we must make it back period I put that out there she was like okay no problem anything that i gotta do to do whatever and whatever i don't she wasn't putting in no effort no effort at all i was spending money running ads my friend was spending money running ads she wasn't doing nothing she wasn't contributing one bit all she did was made two flyers one flyer and then all she did was post on her page and on her story or whatever that's all she did all the spending was between me and my friend even with all of that, I still had no issues with this, this, this girl because I don't know her. She don't know me. We don't know nobody. We don't know each other from nowhere. Period. We don't know each other from nowhere. First, when she came on the um with us, with us, she was telling my friend that oh, I wonder if Shania gonna like me. Maybe I wonder if Shania gonna like you. I mean, I know you from nowhere. What is your for me to not even like you? You know, you get what I say. Me, me, me not know you. So you can as I say wonder if if me gonna like you. What why you feel like me not gonna like you? So, when we did the group call, because I told my friend I don't want to be in a group. I don't want to have a group call because I'm going to be so blunt and she probably going to take it some type of way. Anyway, we had a group call and I was like, why are we still looking for an Airbnb? She was like, she's not sure if we have an Airbnb. I said, I told you guys that we have an Airbnb already. I didn't tell, yeah, she knew we had an Airbnb already. But I told my friend that the because I was busy those time and I was de dealing with, with my allergies so I really wasn't really texting in the group and everything I was dealing with my allergy and honestly all oh, my allergies stressed me out so I told my friend that the guys were until the 28th my friend gave her that information so if you get that information why is that look for a cheaper Airbnb all the way at Olaba she want to find one we work from Olaba and whatever so I'm like we should be we're looking for clients now we, we not have not messing up with you I, I was so blunt I said we not have no clients Clients are what will be a focus, but why we still look for Airbnb? That no make no sense. Mister, make go live. I'm still listening. Nobody come and say, what, what about the live? Oh, we can proceed with the live. Not one at all. And she go, she goes blank. She not say no. So I said no. You, you said I'm having a communication problem. Here I am right now. Let's discuss the live. Baby girl was silent for the entire call. The rest of the call, she just silent. She now said, some of my friends say, are you still there? She was like, yeah. So my friend said, you know what? Let me just hang up. I met my friend said that. She hang up a call and gone. I got text my friend both say, I am too aced. Yeah, whatever. Oh, my aced. Girl, we not have no clients. We are going to make we not have enough clients. Oh, my aced. Time, my boy, long. We're supposed to aced. What you talk about? So from that she not communicate not another group again and whatever the jersey when she forget the jersey for me so she not get to she find every excuse and then so she not doing it so i'm saying all right even now the jersey for me they may not pay for the airbnb for your pipe blank period i don't care if you have no money for the one jersey yeah, yeah i got have money for pay me but my 300 us huh and a 300 US, what did I go with? I almost 300 US. You're not going to have money for pay me back? What? You're mad? Then she, she said, oh, she said, okay. I tell her to send me the money. She, she said, okay. Then the next day, she must have got money, gram. She said, oh, she now spent so much money sending the money through money, gram. Blah, blah, blah. She got us rent an Airbnb for herself because at the end of the day, me, she got to share a room for spend so much money and blah, blah, blah. And I say, Look at look look at all of this coming back. Conversations we had from the start. Me asking, we us asking, trying to find the proper Airbnb, and you had you had no issue telling us to choose whichever. It doesn't matter. 
now you have all these concerns and whatever okay you just don't want to spend the money now it come to a point where she say she gonna use that money and book an airbnb for herself she bought the airbnb for herself when the first um issue with her and the miscommunication whatever she was saying i was saying to go live she sent me a message saying she apologized for the miscommunication and whatever i said to her i said i apologize as well but i was misunderstood from the get i was misjudged from the get-go so it was only a matter of time for something to come up where there was going to be an issue i not wrong for say that she misjudged me from the get-go saying that me not gonna like her and i feel like she coming in on the team not even on the team she working alongside us with that thought that i won't like her she already just have it in her head to say me not like her this girl literally have it in her head to say me not like her this girl i don't know from adams me not know this girl from nowhere at all this girl said me not like her so now after everything she to tell my friend sir the reason why she have a problem with me is because she don't like me apology <laughs> the girl said she don't like me apology that's what she have an issue then i gotta tell my friend sir so i tell my friend sir may i come out well maybe i come out uh, airport come pick you up me now bring her kind of all so she must know she can find out her find her her way to go all over so she's going to rent a vehicle no problem rent your vehicle do ya do that not have nothing to do with me then she go tell my friend say she doesn't feel comfortable working with me and she not have no bad mind against me nor no so we can still go out can you hear that she said she has she doesn't feel comfortable working with me she not have no bad men or nothing against me. So we can still go out. Tell my friend, say no. Hell to the L to the no. No. Me not go nowhere with her. Me? Me, Shani Johnson? <laughs> you crazy? When this girl straight up delusional? Me? You crazy? Tell my friend, say no, my love. Mm -mm. Sorry. Not sorry, me not gonna know with her. Me not gonna know with her. Because how can you be uncomfortable working with somebody who you don't know? Or even if you're uncomfortable working with me, fine. But if you're uncomfortable with working with me, why you still want to go out with me? Why? Make it make sense. I told my friend no. And I'm dead serious. Me not gonna know with her. You crazy? Not gonna know with she. I'm going to match somebody. So, my friend and I are going to Jamaica alone. Because I don't know what me tell my friends. So at this point, I feel as though she have clients because there is this carnival team called, called Carnival Glam Hub. They had messaged us wanting to work with us and whatever. And they had sent us a contract to sign and stuff like that but we never to settle with it because the, the, the amount of money that they wanted to pay us of course we are worth more than that you understand so we decided that if we even have two clients but i'll go and work with two clients keep our standards keep our team alive work for because if we go jump jamaica and work with them we would we, 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 we would not be we, um it it wouldn't be a case where it's carnival glam squad no more would have basically a work for carnival glam or we, we, we know we're our branded stuff and none of that so we decided that then you know what let's just ride out the storm together let's just do what we are do and build with him and that's it so i told my friend yesterday i was working and i come to me saying you know this girl can say she have something else plan she have something else plan she have, have something else plan and then my friend says she feel like she's going with carnival glam up so she has her own plans and she's just trying to find every excuse to just pin to make me be seems as if i am the reason why she's having whatever problems she's having or whatever <gasps> not a lizard 
under my mat. Yo, there's a lizard in my house. He came in yesterday. And he came, in, like, a lot of lizards outside. A lot. And this one lizard came in. And I killed me. I tried to make him come out. The lizard literally, I tell me, say, him own me right now. Theme house says him now come out. But I go, I'm going live at 11. So, I go slow for about two minutes. So, I can do an editing. If you are real. And then go beard wash my ear can i even wash my hair i don't know i need to comb my ear so i can go live even if i'm not wash it i'm gonna need to catch it up or something i don't live at 11 o'clock and catch it up properly too anyways i will talk i, pro I probably go to church tonight today is good friday i probably go to church I know I may get lazy and just lay long and go sleep or whatever. But I'm going to try and see because tonight. Hey, my loves. So, I don't remember when last I took up the camera to record. But I'm basically going to close out. Mm, I'm basically, basically going to close out this week's vlog. Uh, yesterday, I chilled the entire day. I didn't really do nothing much. And today... Dominic and I chilled as well. I cooked dinner. I cooked some um, curry chicken and white rice. And now I'm going to have some wine. I'm going to just show you guys a package I got from Fashion Nova. I'm going to just do that unboxing. And then um, basically that's it for this vlog. Hey, I'm going to pour myself some wine because I'm going to, um, I'm about to edit this podcast, the one I posted last week, Sunday. I'm about to edit the regular, um, the, the, the reel. I'm going to edit the real part of it. I don't know why I'm using so much ice, but yeah. some stellar rose but yeah i'm going to edit the reel to post on both instagram and tiktok so that tomorrow's podcast tomorrow is easter sunday by the way i am so hyped up about easter sunday because it's the day when god resurrected listen all the ghost fire huh i don't remember I'm drinking some Hello Rose. But yeah, um, I'm just ending off this vlog because it's been... Should I pour all of it? It's just a little bit in there either way. Three days to Jamaica. We are so hyped up about Jamaica. We are so excited. Yeah. It's mostly just for the experience though because clients-wise... It's not looking, I'm, I ain't even going to speak that. Because God can turn anything around. So I'm not even going to speak on that. But let's kindly do this Fashion Nova unboxing real quick. Y'all know my turn. Guys, my chest is getting better after all. I started using the Hydrocardisone cream on it. And it's getting better. Thanks be to God. But I got this package from about two days now and i did not open it it's just sitting right there my nails are already coming off this is coming off this been coming off from less than two weeks it's been coming off and right now i really don't feel like going back to that guy i ain't gonna lie like when i told him that they're already are already coming off i knew i asked like how much for a refund not for a refund how much is it for a refill but if he had said you know what it's not even two weeks. Come and let me fix it or something. Then what could I say? Okay, then. But it just gave me the refill price. And I'm like, bro, you see my nails coming off. It's not even two weeks. So I'm not going back. I'm going to look for a different nail tech. I'm serious. So serious. I'm looking for a different nail tech. Should I do a try on all? 
I think I'm gonna do a try on all. So it's two outfits. One is a dress and one is this. I'm thinking about starting to print my packing slips for my orders, but I don't know how I feel about printing my packing slip because the address I have on it, unless I can remove that address, I don't know. Because the Fashion Nova one, it only has my address, it doesn't have their address. So if I can print my packing Mommy. slip and take off my address, then that will be fine. Like this. It's, it's yeah. a bite. It's not that the address on it is my oh, current address, but it's an address I used to register my business. And I don't want it. I don't, I don't want an address on it. All right. So this is a two-piece pants set. I am hoping it fits because ooh, I wonder how it's gonna look. So it's like a cardi right hot type of material. Oh my god! It's a big foot pants. Yes, my arms still aren't shaving. No, I'm here for cream for church tomorrow. And I don't feel like I'm gonna even do nothing to my ear for Jamaica. To be honest, because I don't know. But let me try it on. I feel like I'm gonna pull this over my shorts because I'm not in the mood to take it off. We're going to church, but it's just that my hair needs to cream. I'm gonna see if I can do it early tomorrow morning. And then I have to record my podcast tomorrow morning as well. Bro, ooh, I love the foot. Listen, I'm using the front camera so it's going to look weird. It's not going to zoom up properly. Now watch the big belly part. I should be turning this to the back camera, but we don't have time for that. So we're going to work with how it is. I mean, can you take up this Easter bunny thing? And this is the shirt. I have a gold earring and I have a black purse. I'm not buying anything else. And that's it. So this is how we're gonna be looking. I don't even know if I like this color to be honest. I don't know how I feel about the color. I ain't gonna lie, but I probably like tucking in one piece and then you know I'm not feeling the color though. I'm not feeling the color, but it's what we're wearing because we don't have nothing else. We need to buy nothing else. I we're gonna wear. It fits, that's good. That's great. Yeah, that's great that it fits. It's just that I'm not feeling the color, but it's whatever. The only thing I may do is wear the dress instead. If the dress looks nicer, I may wear the dress instead. But let's see, it's just that like the dress now. When I no man about the dress, got the dress just feel a little bit. Ugh. So now I don't know about the dress, but let's see sorry about the the not seeing me clear because of the zoom and stuff the back kind of have some little fancy dancy of one feet i have jackets also could wear so that's fine oh that string up i'm tired now i question about the good something so bro this affi pull so it kind of some some crisscross thing I want at the back. Now I feel like I probably have to have to do my ear. No no no. I want to do my lashes, but now I'm wondering should I um. I don't know. I don't know. Cause we want to go to Duns River. And I don't know if I should wear a wig. Hold on. Oh. I don't know if I should wear a wig because wig and those river now go work. So I was thinking of doing a passion twist in my head, but do it like a dreadlocks type of vibe. This can't go better. So. My ears are too wide. Let's put, up, let's put it over our head. Where's your head? Hmm? Then I oh this girl. Y'all, I don't even know. Listen, this is already so confusing. Confusing. Yes. Oh, I feel like the animal could go through yes. So. Why are you jerry me? 
two that and two go three, so I'm not sure. But I could see. I feel it. Ow! And every time I bend the finger. Dominic, stop it. I'm getting annoyed. Stop it. <laughs> Where did Ed go? I don't know. I don't know where the string name go. Come here, Dominic. What's up? This is not gonna fit. Draw it down, draw it down. This is definitely not gonna fit. Draw it down. And I don't know how. Draw it down. The string part go. Draw it down. But this is not fit my natural. Draw it down. Somebody shut up. Draw it down. 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 I know what. Yes, I forgot. Yes, so this are the breast part. This is actually the breast part, guys. But my still don't know if it's ever um able for luck. Like right in here, sir. Still don't like to go luck. So this is a definite no. Especially see that me now I can't wear bra with it. This is a definite no. This is a full return. I'm gonna return it and I don't know. So I guess I only have one outfit to Jamaica. Wow. Sad. That was a marathon. You're gonna keep on one outfit for the entire trip. For the entire trip. For the entire day. For the entire day. For the entire time. So that's it. My art literally feel like Ooh, it has stopped. Can I feel the heart? Where is it? It's right over here. It's not moving fast, but it started feeling so tight. I don't feel anything. But it, no, it just it's sorry. You, you're not gonna feel safe tight. I'm like, I might not uh, feel so tight. But anyways, like this video, leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. And I will see you in next week's vlog. Next week's vlog is when we're going to Jamaica. Because mm -hmm. of you. My heart's being crazy because of you. Mm. Because feel it. So, um, feel. Bro. No, it's your side. Come on, this and go on, baby. I'm going to start a vlog tomorrow, but it's not going to be like a weekly vlog or anything because it's going to be. I don't, I don't know. I probably not vlog until we're going to Jamaica, to be honest. I'm not going to vlog tomorrow going onward until wednesday yeah you guys will not see, you, you guys will not see me until i'm going to jamaica then i start a vlog going to jamaica so thank you guys so much again for watching this vlog stay goal oriented keep the faith trust in god only god and god alone 
can do it for you so i love you guys so much and see you in my next vlog bye bye cheers to jamaica trip ah. bye. <laughs> no one say bye so bye guys <laughs>